Come. I will inform you who I was underneath that impassive exterior. I will tell you what to say of me. Publish my name and hang up my picture as that of the tenderest lover, the friend, the lover's portrait of whom his friend, his lover, was fondest, who was not proud of his songs, but of the measureless ocean of love within him and freely poured it forth who often walked lonesome walks thinking of his dearest friends, his lovers, who pensive, away from the one he loved, often lay sleepless and dissatisfied at night, who dreading lest the one he loved might after all be indifferent to him felt the sick feeling. Hours continuing long, sore and heavy-hearted, hours of the dusk when I withdraw to a lonesome and unfrequented spot, seating myself, leaning my face in my hands, Hours sleepless, deep in the night, when I go forth, speeding swiftly the country roads, or through the city streets, or pacing miles and miles, stifling plaintive cries. Hours discouraged, distracted, for he, the one I cannot content myself without, soon I saw him content himself without me. Sullen and suffering hours, I am what I am. Hours of my torment. I wonder if other men ever have the like out of the like feelings. Is there even one other like me, distracted, his friend, his lover lost to him? Is he too as I am now? Does he still rise in the morning dejected thinking who is lost to him? And at night, awaking, think who is lost? Does he too harbor his friendship silent and endless, harbor his anguish and passion? Does some stray reminder or the casual mention of a name bring the fit back upon him, taciturn and depressed? Does he see himself reflected in me? In these hours, does he see the face of his hours reflected? Earth, I now suspect there is something terrible in you, ready to break forth. For an athlete loves me and I him, but toward him there is something fierce and terrible in me. I dare not tell it in words, not even in these songs.